Hey, we've made some updates to the Tina CMS branch, branch switcher. You can see that here. Um, right now we have uh, the main branch selected, but I can select different branches. I've only have, I only have main here, but I'll create another one. Um, test branch to, uh, that is just gonna take a minute to index. If I close this and open it up, you can see it's indexing. Um, Usually just takes a few seconds. Yep, yeah, good to go. So now I will switch to branch test two, and now I, whenever I make any changes, it's gonna, they're gonna get saved to a new branch. So let's create a new blog post. <clears throat> um, my new post two. Uh, we'll give it some lorem ipsum excerpt and some body and today's date. Give it an author and click save. Now if I flip over to GitHub and refresh, you'll see that we've got main and now we, got, we have test branch two, which I just created. And uh, yeah, here's the update from TNCMS. So there you go. We just created this post on this new branch. And the whole idea is like we're trying to um, put the power of branching into the hands of content editors so they can create new branches and eventually merge them and that kind of thing. But for now, you can just create them and switch to them. So if I go back to main, I'll close this, you'll see there will be no branch test two here. Um, yeah, so that's branching in a nutshell. Uh, if I'm working on local host, which I'll show you here, you can still see the branching selector if you have this enabled, but it doesn't work on local host when you're working locally as a developer. So it only works if you're using Tina uh, with Tina Cloud. Um, uh, I'll show you quickly how to add that to your site. If I go to my Tina config file on my site, and you can see on line 16, there's the CMS callback. Well, it just sets the branch switcher to true. So you just need to add this to your config and that will be in the documentation. Anyway, I uh, hope you like it.